Thank you for joining me on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Your time is valuable, so let me get right to it and what I'm seeing. Now, two tropical waves to start. This is what's going on now. Here's the Caribbean. This tropical wave is not going to develop in the short term, but in the long term, it may. I want to show you that as it gets closer to the Caribbean. And then this is what I've been talking about for weeks. This is the first in the series of bigger tropical waves that are going to move off and have more of a potential of fighting off that dry air and developing. And now the National Hurricane Center uh, monitoring those. They've always been monitoring them, but again, now showing again some areas of yellow saying, hey, yeah, these, these may eventually develop some. No rapid development. And the good thing about hurricanes and hur one of the good things about hurricane season is that things that develop well out here, I have plenty of time to watch it, see where they're going to go, and uh, give you some of that advanced warning on where some of these storms, potential hurricanes may end up. But this is what's going on in the short term. Look at this dry air all in here, parts of the Eastern Caribbean, parts of the Central Atlantic. This is dry air. And what it's doing, let me take the first tropical wave. It's right here. See this? There's the bigger one. But this tropical wave, this dry air is going to kind of eat at that. In the short term, I'm not seeing it developing, but here's one of the more of the concerns is that if this hangs together, once it gets into the Caribbean, it could eventually develop because conditions in the Caribbean are more conducive to development. The American model, even the European model to an extent, is picking up on what I'm seeing out there and kind of seeing some of those environmental conditions the same way. So here's the American model. Now this is going to change some. This is going way out in time, but I kind of want to show you what I'm thinking and seeing uh, behind the scenes. Now, this is by midweek. So here's the Caribbean. Uh, we've got, again, uh, Florida here, east coast of the United States, Bermuda, eastern Canada. Uh, as we go out in time, look at this little buildup of moisture here. This is that first tropical wave I was talking about. By this weekend, yeah, it's not going to develop here, but once it moves into the Caribbean, if it's still hanging together, look at that increased chance of rain here. And then if something hangs together at this point in the Caribbean by this weekend, it may start to develop. It may start to spin up. This is way out in time by Tuesday. Let me stop it here. So we're looking a little over a week now, and this is exactly what, what I'm seeing as well. And I'll show you that European model in just a second. Couple things here I wanna break down. First, again, this tropical wave. The weak one may eventually develop. This is a potential in the Caribbean, so watching out for that. And then second, it is also seeing these stronger tropical waves kind of hanging together. May develop some stuff out here. I like when they develop out here because we have plenty of time to watch it. Things that develop out in here closer to home, there's not as much time, of course, but I'm giving you that time. That's why I do this channel. This is by Tuesday. Not that this is gonna turn out like this, but there is that potential, and you know as well, those water temperatures are so warm. So if we get a healthy tropical wave, Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, it could flare up in a hurry. So again, uh, just kind of put that on the back burner, keep that in mind, know that I am watching that on this channel, that eventually we could have a spin up in the Caribbean or the Gulf of Mexico by next week. Now here's the European model. Here's Florida, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Trinidad and Tobago, going out in time. now. European model, this is midweek. It has this barrier here, high pressure here, and it's watching these tropical waves. Now, the European model, as of now, it's going back and forth. A couple days ago, it was showing a lot of development. Right now, not a ton of development, but let me take you out in time and just uh, kind of zoom into the upcoming weekend. This is by the time we get into the upcoming weekend and stop the clock. It's showing a couple things here. Okay, uh, first, uh, this is by the time we get into uh, Saturday night into Sunday. It's showing uh, uh, some development. So again, almost all of the models uh, the Canadian, uh, the German model, the icon also showing development, saying, hey, this is probably going to develop. With that said, uh, some of these areas may stay out to sea. That's some of the good news. But let me take you out in time a little bit further. Look at all this green in the Caribbean. So a couple things here. Now, let me stop it here. This, I don't want to, I'm trying not to confuse anyone. So let me just stop this. This is again by early next week. What the European models, it's saying a couple things. One, we've got an area of high pressure here that moves off. So if some develops over near Africa, there is the opportunity for it to kind of head out to sea. That would be a good thing. I would love that. So again, I talk about this barrier being in place, but sometimes it relaxes and again, something could sneak out to sea. 
But like the American model, look at all this green building up here. It is still showing these tropical waves moving into the Caribbean. And again, it's also showing a buildup of moisture. You see it here uh, in the Caribbean. So that catches my attention that something may spin up in the Caribbean or even in the Gulf of Mexico watching over toward the Bahamas by next week. That's not out of the question, not a definite thing. We're looking a week, week and a half out. But again, I'm keeping a very close eye on this because I am concerned about the water temperatures. They are so warm that if anything does start to spin up, it could spin up pretty quickly. That's just how this season is kind of going to go. In the short term, again, tons of dry air. That's a great thing out there to kind of eat at these things, prevent them from developing in the short term. But long term, a little bit of a different story. Down the road, there's no signs of Emily right now. No signs of that uh, in particular. But Emily, the next name on the list, Franklin and Gert. But again, we have those bigger tropical waves that are coming off the coast of Africa. So let me zoom down here and then we need to get to this. And even this, look at that. We've got some hurricane action out here in the Eastern Pacific, which I want to cover. As we work our way through uh, parts of the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, see over toward the Bahamas, some scattered showers, Jamaica, Cayman Islands. We had some overnight, had a little bit of thunder and lightning, still that heavier rain near Costa Rica and Panama. And again, I'm going to get back to these bigger blobs in a moment. But watching some of the spotty showers we've had around, mainly north of the ABC Islands, Jacques Mel just had a shower around, again, uh, southern sections of Haiti. So through the day today, some scattered showers and storms, a little bit more so, higher chance, uh, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, uh, the Yucatan of Mexico, watching Belize, Honduras, and then again, South Nicaragua, Costa Rica for some rain. This stuff here is spotty, watching out for some even afternoon storms, getting an isolated uh, to scattered shower storm in the afternoon. Tomorrow, rain chance a bit higher, this kind of upper level low, leftovers of a tropical wave as well. Central America, tomorrow, better chance of some rain. Scattered showers and storms, Cuba near the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Bahamas, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. And then Guyana, Suriname, northern Venezuela, even Trinidad and Tobago, we've got some showers that will be nearby. I'm going to break that down further when I take a look at that forecast for you. Wednesday, spotty showers and storms kind of around the horn. Same thing as tomorrow. But again, I'll be watching very closely the strong tropical waves in that weaker one out ahead of it to see if it hangs together and eventually moves into the Caribbean by this weekend. Now, let's get to this. We've got one, two, three systems out there because this area here is going to develop into a system. These two staying away in south of Hawaii, of course, we're all thinking of Hawaii at this point with the uh, historic, the deadly uh, wildfires that they had. So again, we're being very mindful of that. Uh, now, let me show you what we've got going on as far as just kind of setting the stage. So this actually developed into Greg before this did. So this will get the name Hillary once it does develop. So that's Tropical Storm Greg. There's Fernanda. And as I talked about, that's going to to stay out to sea. Uh, but again, this looks like it's going to develop and run parallel to the coast. That was my initial concern yesterday. I was covering that on the YouTube channel Earth QC that this would be more of a threat to lands. We could have some tropical storm conditions southwest Mexico. And this one has more of a likely, it's not definite yet, but more of a likelihood to curve up toward the Baja and even a chance it could bring rain towards Southern California. Again, uh, Fernanda is eventually going to weaken as it uh, moves toward Hawaii. But this one here, Greg, will stay south. So here's Hawaii. And again, uh, it's a tropical storm right now and it will stay south of Hawaii. So again, that one will be staying uh, there. So keeping an eye on those, of course, but attention. Oh, I should have shifted this, but either way, again, this should be up here. These uh, titles I didn't shift yet. Belize is not here, obviously. Belize is up here. I didn't shift that stuff. I widened out my map view, but I'm going to hang with you anyway. Showing you this again, what we've got going on here. This is by the time we get into the end of the week. Now, this is where the models start to split. So again, excuse these labels. Uh, El Salvador is not into the ocean, so that would be a bigger story. Um, but again, this here, uh, kind of southwest coast of Mexico. Watch out heavy rain tropical storm conditions uh, late this week. Now the European model goes a little bit more out to sea while the American model kind of curves a little bit more to the Baja. So again, watching that, watching those trends. I don't know yet. I don't know yet how close this is going to be to the coast because again, it's still developing. The models don't have uh, a great handle on the track until the storm develops, but there is that chance that some of this moisture could eventually even feed into Southern, Car uh, uh, Southern California if this model were to hold true. And again, a wait and see on that, but uh, it has my attention. Southern California back through Mexico. I'll be watching it very closely. And in the meantime, 
time when I've done this video, I will adjust these uh, labels. Uh, Cuba hasn't shifted uh, either. Sometimes I get ahead of myself as I uh, make my uh, graphics and try to give you the freshest information. All right, let's get a look at the storm names. Again, Fernanda out there, Greg out there that stays south of Hawaii. So this new system that could bring tropical storm, if not hurricane conditions to parts of Mexico, that will get the name Hillary once it does develop. And in California, I'll keep an eye on how close uh, that gets or if it even brings some moisture to uh, southwestern sections of the United States, potential Arizona, uh, New Mexico of that chance of some rain. So again, watching that. Now, Jamaica, I mentioned a little uptick in some of the rain. We've had some scattered, scattered showers and storms around watching that. Trinidad and Tobago, a little more active. Trinidad and Tobago, uh, Grenada, south through Guyana and Suriname. The rain chance up a bit. So watching out for some rain and storms that are around. 40% chance today in Grenada, a 50% chance of scattered showers tomorrow and again on Wednesday. Barbados, 40% chance tomorrow and a 40% chance on Wednesday. St. Lucia, we had some rain uh, overnight in some spots. 40% chance tomorrow, down to a 30% chance on Wednesday. St. Vincent of the Grenadines, a 40 to 50% chance of scattered showers and storms the next couple days. Belize, scattered about. Again, we're going to have more moisture in Central America as we go over the next two to three days. Cayman Islands, 50% chance today, 40% chance tomorrow, a 40% chance today in the Bahamas, 50% chance tomorrow. We've got some scattered showers around in the Bahamas, even back through Florida, giving a, a break from some of that heat. Turks and Caicos holding at about a 40% chance over the next three days. Getting back toward Guadalupe, passing shower today, 30% chance tomorrow on Wednesday, a 40% chance today in Dominica, 30% chance tomorrow, 40% chance on Wednesday, and again about a 30 to 40% chance the next three days for my friends in Martinique. And we get back toward Puerto Rico. Again, rain chance not super high. It is going to be hot. But if you do get some rain, watching out for some downpours, isolated storms, 20% chance U.S. Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands through midweek. Dominican Republic, again, also some scattered storms around. A 40% chance, much like Puerto Rico, 40% chance of some thunderstorms today in Haiti, and a 30% chance tomorrow and Wednesday. 20% chance of a passing shower. St. Kitts and Nevis, Matsura, about a 20% chance of a shower. 10 to 20% chance today, Antigua and Barbuda. And as we work our way into Anguilla, we could get a passing shower too, but again, nothing uh, uh, substantial, nothing too widespread at this point. St. Martin, St. Bastatia holding on to that 20% chance. Next two days in Curacao, 20% chance of a shower, 30% chance by Wednesday. Aruba, just that 10 to 20% chance. Always keeping our fingers crossed, even over toward a Bonaire. Now, again, in Guyana, like Trinidad and Tobago, rain chance a little higher. Scattered showers and even some thunderstorms today. Isolated flooding possible. Rain chance up a little bit in Suriname the next three days at about a 40% chance. Northern Venezuela, isolated to scattered showers and storms. Best chance eastern zones as we go over the next three days. Costa Rica, the elevated chance of rain today, tomorrow, and again back through Panama with that continued isolated flooding in some areas, river levels all on the higher side. So tropical development becoming more likely. Now, where it develops, when it develops, I'll be fine-tuning that all for you. Those larger waves coming off the coast of Africa, again, not ocean waves, but these are atmospheric waves, blobs of rain and storms coming off. And again, uh, what really has my attention is close to home. Even the weaker tropical waves that move into the Caribbean now going forward through the hurricane season as we get deeper into the hurricane season have a better potential of developing. Conditions are a little more conducive and we know those water temperatures are super warm. And then watching Mexico and California monitoring what's going on with that new system that should become Hillary pretty soon. I'll keep a very close eye on that. So again, southwest Mexico, either way, it looks like we could have the landslide potential potential rough conditions right along the coast with that new developing system. So plenty going on. Got you covered here. Thank you for sharing this channel with your friends and family, spreading the word about it. It's done for safety. Have a good rest of your day.